All spring, George and Allie had a project. A garden. They dug holes, planted seeds, watered, and waited until a tiny sprout appeared. <laughs> Before long, they were the proud parents of a healthy, growing garden. Then one day, Allie had some news. It's all up to you now, George. Uh -huh. It turned out, Allie and the Rankins were going on vacation for six weeks. The garden Ooh. was in George's hands. <laughs> George couldn't wait to send Allie a picture. <gasps> Someone else was impressed with George and Allie's flowers, too. A deer. George had to be careful not to scare the deer away. <laughs> the next morning, George was eager to check his garden. Flowers weren't supposed to go back into the ground, were they? His dear friend was back. Hello. <gasps> it turned out that the deer liked George's flowers too much. <laughs> this was horrible. George could just imagine what Allie would say. Allie was coming back in just a few days. And George was worried there wouldn't be any garden left when she got home. Hmm. But then he remembered something the deer didn't like. <gasps> Oatmeal. Hmm. But that didn't make sense. Oatmeal was delicious. It was just oats with a little cinnamon on top. If deer didn't like the taste of cinnamon on oatmeal, maybe they wouldn't like it on flowers either. <laughs> George made a special flower protecting formula full of cinnamon. If the deer didn't like the taste of the flowers, maybe they wouldn't eat them. At least, that's what George hoped. Next morning, George and Bill arrived early. There wasn't a single deer in sight. The garden was saved. Hooray! <laughs> Not bad for a city kid. The deer had moved on and found food that didn't taste bad to them. And after just a few days, Flowers grew back, just in time for Allie's return. <gasps> flowers! Oh, look at them, they just grow. How easy is that? <laughs> hey, look what I made in camp. A deer call. It sounds like this. <laughs> look, it works. Here they come. Yeah, I know. My turn. 